are going to show you the most common reason why a baby is born with Down syndrome. As we know, the egg inside the mother's womb must be fertilised by the father's sperm in order to create a new life. And so our story starts with the egg. Here we see the egg waiting to be fertilised by the sperm. And here they come, all 40 million of them. But it's a long, hard struggle, and they need to be fit. Now, here is a contender, strong, fit, and determined. Ah! Just missed. Here's another, just short. Wait, now we truly have ourselves a champion. It's finally fertilized. So what is happening inside the fertilized egg? It's all about chromosomes. The egg has 23 chromosomes. Meet number one. sperm has 23 chromosomes. He is number one. Meet Mother Nature. She's the boss. And so our two chromosomes meet to become a new pair. What a lovely couple they make. They become our new chromosome number one for our new baby. And off they go. And so it goes number two, number three, number four. Right up to the last chromosome number 23 and it's number 23 that decides if you are a boy or a girl mmm that's another story oh i forgetting our baby has got down syndrome so let's wind back to chromosomes number 21 <laughs> Ah, but what's this? Our egg seems to have two chromosome 21s. So, let's see what happens this time. And so, all three of them come together. This is called Trisomy 21. And with our new pairs, they make a brand new cell. This cell contains the code which will make a new human being. Nine months later, a beautiful baby is born. There we have it, Trisomy 21. It's often referred to as Down syndrome. Over one in every thousand babies born in the UK has Down syndrome. Down syndrome affects people of all ages, races, religions and classes. Congratulations, he's perfect. Happy World Down Syndrome Day! It falls on the 21st day of the third month. In celebration, 
of our triple chromosome 21.